Hey Glam Girls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cody Page and as you can tell from the title, I am here with another transformation video as I take these brows from a hot mess to a yes. And if you want to see how this turn out, then keep on watching. For starters, I'm going to go ahead and take an angled brush, a concealer brush, and also a brow brush. I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Granite as well as Dark Brown. I like to use these two shades in order to get my perfect shade. You also want to take your favorite concealer. I like to go ahead and mix dark brown with granite. I like them to be dark, but not too dark where it doesn't look natural, but not too light where it looks ashy. This is a problem that I sometimes have, being that I have bushy eyebrows. I have not had them waxed or arched or nothing, so this is completely raw and uncut, quarantine edition. I'm pretty sure you all understand my pain, but we're gonna try to go ahead and work it out. <laughs> So once you are brushing the brows up and you get a feel of how or where your natural brows lay, you want to go ahead with the angle brush with the dip brow pomade to line the bottom first. Just line the bottom of your natural line and just know where you want that arch to be. When you're lining the top, you don't want to start the front simply because you're not going to get the most natural look. So you just want to start like a little bit behind the front, if you know what I mean. If you can see where I started, you will see. And then you want to go up back into the front and just do upward strokes to give a more natural look. You just want to make sure everything is clean and then go ahead in the middle and fill them in. This is what I normally do because I do have bushy brows so they could get out of hand sometimes. So I use the dip brow pomade to kind of keep everything in place versus a pencil when my brows get crazy. So now I'm going in with the matte concealer to conceal the brows starting at the arch and working my way towards the front. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. So this is what's going to give you that fake arch look uh, for the time being. You want to conceal the top of your brows. And then as you get towards the end of your brows, you want to go in with a darker concealer. This is what's going to give you a more natural look. You don't want to do a lighter concealer towards the ends because then you're going to get floating brows and we don't want that. With everything, you just want to make sure that you are blending just so that way it'll look seamless whether you are using a shade that's one shade or two shades brighter or darker. Um, it's all about the blending process. As long as you blend, everything will look seamless. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my other brow and I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit but I'm, it's basically the same process. Lining the bottom, lining the top, brushing it out and doing upward strokes when you get to the front. I'm just going to take the same concealer and do the same thing 
um, lining it, basically giving you that arch. But with this concealer, it's also thicker. So what it's doing is hiding the brow hairs even more. And I do have a brow tutorial as well, showing you how to conceal your brows when they are cleaned up. So I'll leave that link below down in the description box. Perfect, so at least we got these brows tamed for the time being. Keep a look out for our next video. I will be doing something with these brows because I don't think I'll be able to take this for too long. Just leave a comment down below if this video helped you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.